Hey friends, so as soon as Apple announced the M1 MacBook Pro back in November, I was already like halfway through the checkout process. That's probably the fastest that I ever purchased anything tech related. My main motivation for that was knowing how fast my iPad Pro is and I wanted just basically an iPad Pro that could run Sketch and Final Cut Pro. And in a way I got it. Now nearly five months later, I want to share with you a couple of things that I think went really well with that laptop, but a couple of things that I think are a bit problematic. So starting with the specs, I went with the 16 gigs of RAM and 512 storage model and if you want to have it as cheap as possible I would still advise to get less storage but more memory because you can always buy an external drive and storage is pretty limited. So right after unboxing it and giving it a proper sketch test I was blown away by the performance. It was like four to five times faster than my Intel quad core. But in those five months two things have happened and one of these things is that I kind of forgot how slow my previous MacBook was, so it's really hard to compare right now. But also the M1 Mac got a little bit slower because it just happens with time. The OS gets kind of loaded with extra things and it just runs a little bit slower. As far as hardware goes, I have one thing that I think is the most frustrating, which is the lack of the extra two ports, because just having two Thunderbolt ports should be enough for some basic use, but especially in my case, when I plug in the external display that you see behind me and an audio interface, I don't really have any ports left to plug in my Thunderbolt drive. The other problem might be monitor related because I bought the LG Ergo monitor back there and I think that the USB-C connection is either less stable than Thunderbolt or simply worse or maybe it's even less aligned with the Mac in some way. And the main USB problem that I'm having is when I try to plug in something into the display using the standard USB-A, it sometimes just doesn't show up until I restart my computer and sometimes it does. It can be a problem with just this one display, because when I used the 27 inch Apple Thunderbolt display, which has a pretty low resolution, but is still Thunderbolt, I never had any problems with USB. It just worked flawlessly. You know what also worked great back then? Bluetooth. Because apparently some recent macOS update completely destroyed Bluetooth on the Mac. And I don't know if it's just my machine or if it happens to more people, but right now Bluetooth is just completely unreliable. Here is an example. When I shut the computer off, like turn it off completely, and I know many people don't ever do that, but when I do it and then I restart it, Bluetooth doesn't work and I can't use any external keyboard or an external mouse even, which actually worked very well before to log in, basically. I can't log in into the computer unless I open it up and use the built-in keyboard or if I use the Apple Magic Keyboard. So apparently Bluetooth only works for selected devices. And when I use the Magic Keyboard to log into the computer, now everything else starts working as well. So I can still use the mouse and an other keyboard and everything else. So it just kind of breaks Bluetooth on login. And I got the Keychron Key3 keyboard recently and I really wanted to use it, but right now it's like the connection is breaking up very often and it's pretty much unreliable. And I thought that it was maybe the issue with the keyboard, but it works perfectly while playing Doom Eternal on my gaming PC. Everything works there, it just doesn't work with the Mac. And I have no idea if it's just the M1 or all the Macs with Big Sur. And another thing might have also been monitor related, but when I use the monitor over USB-C with my MacBook, and I can also use HDMI to connect to my gaming PC. So when I switch to the gaming PC and then switch back to the Mac, the USB ports on the back of the monitor don't work at all. It's like they don't exist or something. It's really weird and frustrating really. So I think that the first generation of the M1 Max might have been like a testing devices for Apple. Maybe they just wanted to check if the market wants them, but right now I think that it's really a little bit too unreliable for my taste and I'm waiting for an update to that lineup. So hopefully they're gonna announce a 14 inch model soon and hopefully it's gonna have four Thunderbolt ports cause that's gonna be a lifesaver. And I also really hope that Bluetooth issue gets resolved soon. On a side note, do you know what's the most important part about setting up your new LG display? For me, it's always putting some black masking tape over the logo so that way the display actually looks more uniform from the front. So yeah, my time with the M1 has been a little bit bittersweet. I love the performance and I love how the battery life is just insane, but the Bluetooth issues and the USB issues and my audio interface disconnecting every now and then 
are all a little bit frustrating and I hope that all gets resolved soon. Have you encountered any similar problems with your computers? Let me know in the comments. And as usual, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, drink 6 glasses of water a day, exercise and all that. Cheers!